Hopefully I can cover everything I need to in this one video because I don't want to spend too much time on these people. So there's a bunch of liars going around trying to claim that this is not a fan-made website. They think that websites like Doom World and Sonic Retro are official websites. That this one is owned and controlled by Sega or Sonic Team like that. And they think that Sega is a parent company and controls the people that run the site. Fanboys claim, oh, it says right here, second only to Sega, it says right there. This doesn't prove anything. This is a self-given subtitle, and this makes as much sense as a random guy putting on a suit and saying, second only to the president, or random company name here. But in order to really prove that they are a subsidiary to Sega, you have to show not Sonic Retro saying that they are second to Sega, but you have to show that Sega themselves are saying that they own Sonic Retro. Just like how you have to have the US president himself saying that he knows the random guy in the suit. So I told the liars, you need something else to prove that Sega controls Sonic Retro. But they just brushed it off and said, no, you need to prove it, you're making the claim, which is not how it works. The burden of proof is the one making the positive claim, not the negative claim. So which one is the positive claim? Saying Sonic Retro is owned by Sega? Or is it saying Sonic Retro is not owned by Sega? It's fan made. Of course, it's the former statement. The first statement is the positive claim, not the second statement. The second statement is a negative claim, so the burden of proof is not on me. But since these short bus riders want to live in denial, I can easily prove that it's a fan made website. It doesn't take a researcher to know it's fan organized. Let's look at their YouTube account. Yes, this is their YouTube. Used to be called Sonic Retro Channel, but now it's called Sega Channel Retro, to my knowledge. And as you can see, it is a not a verified channel. And also, look at one of their videos. It looks like it's in a bedroom or a living room or something. It does not look like a professional studio. If that's not enough to convince you, let's ask Sonic Retro themselves. If you ask them, is Sonic Retro a fan-made website? They will say yes to that, and I already have the evidence. They also have a Twitch, and they said it themselves. Uh, oh, missed. To go to events like that. <laughs> I mean, we're we're about as professional as like any like fan news any. site that's out there. I mean, there, I like really. to think we're a little bit better insofar as can you think of an equivalent resource? to Sega Retro for any other major games company. Oh, I mean, yeah. Like, even Nintendo oh, come on. But for, like, for, like, front page writing and stuff, like, we don't get paid at all. No. We don't... It, uh, but we do want to maintain a, a standard of... You know, we don't wanna just want to report every little thing that happens, but... So there you have it. Sonic Retro team themselves admit that Sonic Retro is a fan-organized website. They are not an official professional studio, they are not in the actual industry. Even on their Q&A page does not say that they are owned by Sega or Sonic Team, and it says that everyone can collaborate, further proving that they are fan-made. They are almost as being on the same level as Realm 667 or Doom World allegedly belonging to its software, or Player Essence for Nintendo which is even worse because Player Essence is ran by a rampant Nintendo fanboy. So that settles that point. And also, let me go over one specific article. Not only did fanboys lie by saying Sega is a parent company of Sonic Retro, but they also lie about the articles, claiming that most of them are original articles. Like this one right here. A guy claims that the actual Sega executive, Takashi Izuka, said everything in the article word for word, and that the author who made it didn't add their own spin, nor add their own words to it. There was no other source showing that he said this word for word. That was a reason why I found it questionable for this to be an original source, but fanboys still denied it. So guess what I did? I contacted the author of the article, and yes, he did talk to me, through text mind you. So this is what he had to say. First, he explicitly tells me that when the article was made, it was long before they could do interviews with the executives themselves. 
This proves that they did not talk to the executives personally when this article was made. And not only that, he admits and shows that it is not the original source. In fact, the real source for the article is a Nintendo Power magazine page. It even says it on the tags. So some liars are not only saying that this is an original article, they claim that everything in the Sonic Retro article was said by the Sonic slash Sega Team executive exactly word for word. So let's see if the Nintendo Power magazine page is a copy and paste job. In the article, people reference this paragraph, and in the Nintendo Power page, it comes from this corner. So let's read what it says. So where is it? Where is the all? Where is the word all? See, it is not a copy and paste job. It is not 100% word for word identical. So that means even the fanboys were lying about that. Resorting only to this source while ignoring other sources is a textbook example of confirmation bias, backed by the fact that it is the only one like it copy and paste wise. I do not know how to expose any more than I already have with this. I win in this subject permanently because I proved it and I was right. I was always right because I do not take things at face value like the delusional cherry picking fanboys do out of favoritism. The people who thought this was an original source are liars, they're frauds, and they're fakes, and they should be ashamed of themselves and ashamed at other people like them. There is no debating this, there is no disputing this, and there is no countering this. I should receive an apology from them being wrong about this, but I know I'm not getting one. I will be surprised if I do, but it's likely not going to happen. If you want to present something, show something explicit. Do not try to make up definitions of words and phrases, and do not claim exclusivity for them. You will be sent packing off my channel if you do. Because as of right now, forward, which has been for a while, you get one strike, and I will not take any pseudo-intellectual arguments. Those mental gymnastics won't work on me, not anymore. So in the end, don't bruh to me.